an exercise that's amazing for your midline stability, but is often poorly performed, is a hollow hold. This hollow position is one we're going to be using a lot when we're doing gymnastic work in the gym, and holding the brace is also really important for any kind of weightlifting activity. So this exercise should be a staple of your training program. To perform it correctly, the first thing we need to do is to create a strong abdominal brace. So we're going to do that on the floor, lying on our backs. And we want to be able to feel the lower back pressing into the floor. So before you get into that full hollow hold position, the first thing I want you to do is to lie with your knees directly over your hips, like so. Tuck your chin and bring your shoulders off the ground and extend your arms. Now what we're focusing on trying to feel in this position is a gentle pressure of the lower back into the ground. We shouldn't create, uh, feel a space between the lower back and the floor. We should have contact constantly throughout this exercise with the lower back to the floor. Draw your navel into your spine, so brace your abdominals like someone who's about to kick you in the stomach, and hold that position. Now for some people, this position is challenging enough, just holding this position. If it's quite simple for you, then keeping the rest of your shape, extend your legs out to create more challenge. I'm just getting a bit more comfortable, so I'm shuffling around. Now from here, keep going. Point your toes, squeeze your legs together, and feel this hollow shape. If that's comfortable, you can lower your legs down more, but really focus on maintaining that pressure, the lower back, down to the ground. You can hear my voice now. It's becoming a little bit more challenging for me. Really keep that pressure throughout. You should feel it tight. You should feel that contact with the floor. And then try and stretch your body to the opposite walls. As I stated earlier, this is key for all of the gymnastic movements we do in CrossFit. So if you're working on your pull-ups, strict or kipping, if you're working on toaster bar, again, strict or kipping, both of those are important, handstands, handstand press-ups, the hollow is the key position you need to get in before anything else. So work hard in improving your hollow hold and ensure you're doing it correctly. If you feel a hollow hold in your lower back, you feel like the work is coming from there, you need to make that easier because you need to be able to feel this brace at the front of your abs. So concentrate on where you're trying to feel this position where you're supposed to feel it. Create the difficulty that's going to work you correctly. And a hollow hold should be, should be held for between 10 and 20 seconds because we're looking at creating a strong brace that we only need for fractions of a second in each exercise. We don't need to be holding it for hours on end. There's no exercise that we do where we're looking to hold a brace for a long, long period of time. It's always short, release, and then go again. Okay, guys, hold a hold.